This is Prince Arrington, QA Director on Gears of War 4. In this video, we'll give you all the details on the two modes found in the beta, Team Deathmatch and Dodgeball. In Team Deathmatch, the objective is simple. Kill the enemy team. Each team has a pool of 15 lives that is shared by all players, and every death takes one life away from that pool for the entire team. Once your lives pool runs out, there's a uniquely gears twist. All players still alive are given one remaining life each. Dying during this phase knocks you out of the fight, so play cautiously and try to claim that epic comeback for your team. Power weapons can be instrumental in winning in team deathmatch. Focus your efforts on securing these weapons for your team to help claim vital kills. If it's too risky to grab the weapon yourself, denying the weapon from the enemy team can make all the difference. If you need to sharpen your skills, Check out the Co-op vs. Bot playlist, which puts you and four players up against bots in Team Deathmatch. It's a great place to learn the maps and core techniques before you dive in against real opponents. Dodgeball is a brand new mode in Gears of War 4. In Dodgeball, the objective is simple. Eliminate the enemy team. Once a player is killed, they are unable to respawn. However, in true Dodgeball fashion, you can bring teammates back into the game by eliminating the opposition. Each kill will start a respawn timer for one of your dead teammates, ordered from first eliminated to last. You can track the order and respawn timer of dead teammates in TACOM. Be prepared for massive swings. Dodgeball matches frequently switch from one team having the advantage to the other, so be sure to keep track of the team numbers at the top of the screen to keep on top of the situation. If you're the last person alive, getting a kill can give your team a fighting chance by bringing a teammate back into the fight. But there's a nail-biting five-second delay before they are returned to the battlefield. Dying before your teammate returns to the fight will end the round. So try to evade combat after the kill and regroup to give your team the best chance. That's it for the modes contained in the Gears of War 4 beta. Be sure to check out the rest of our guides if you're looking for more Gears of War beta tips and tricks. Good luck out there.